Hello Beachside family. Our mission message this month is from Karen, working in East Germany with European Christian Mission. Here she is. If I were to ask you where the most atheistic region in the world were, what would you say? Now you might guess, because of where I am, the city of Rostock, the former harbour city of the East German state, that it is East Germany. And if you guess that, you are correct. In a recent study done by the University of Chicago, looking at beliefs about God across time and countries, the study showed that former East Germany, in this time, this point in time, is the most atheist, atheistic region in the world. And the city of Rostock, where I currently am, has less than 0.05% of its population having a belief in Jesus Christ as their saviour. To put that into perspective, that's fewer Christians in percentages than places like Algeria, Libya, Morocco, places in the 1040 window where we're always sending missionaries. And it's precisely because of that reason that I am here. It is not your classical mission country with huts. As you can see, it's actually quite beautiful. Behind me you have the city wall and the towers, the old city wall. But it is a place where the harvest is so great and the workers are so few. And this is why I came here to work with my skills and passions as a doctor in a hospital here to get amongst the people in a way that traditional missionaries can't because the barriers are just up. I have a reason to be here in their eyes and therefore they trust me. I've already had conversations across the tea room, the break room with people sharing their life stories in a way that traditional missionaries just, just won't be able to access people. And this is why I'm here in the city of Rostock. To be a lamp in God's hand, hopefully for him to shine through me. And I do pray that you would pray for me, pray for the missionaries in this city. Pray that God would send more workers with a burden for the unreached. Pray for us. So how can you be praying for me? Well, I would really appreciate your prayers as I settle in into uh, Rostock over the next month. Um, that I find a home, that I find a good community, that I find good friends. I'm moving house at the end of this week. Well, by the time you're seeing it, it would have moved. So I'd appreciate your prayer for that. Prayers for settling into work and building relationships. Um, right now, I'm standing at my new church in uh, Tottenwinkel in Rostock. And the church is up there. <laughs> And that's people coming out now. Um, it's on top of a bar and next to a hairdresser. So um, that's really cool in an area where there are so many thousands of people who are living alone needing Jesus. So please pray for that. Practically as well, um, there are a lot of things that I left behind in on the Gold Coast that Ben and Shelley Koyman were storing for me, but I did not have enough time because of Corona and the restrictions to sort through when I was in Australia. So. If you are in need of any household goods, whitewares or anything, contact the missions team, um, contact Ben and Shelley Koyman. If you want to buy some of that stuff off me to help support the mission here, I would be so thankful. So thank you Beachat for your continuing prayers. You can also support the mission and the ministry of ECM online by going to our website and you can donate towards um, me or any other missionary in the country of your choice um, to help us continue the work of the Lord in Europe. Thanks for your prayers and support over the years, Beachside, and I'll be the from Deutschland. <laughs> We'd love to have you join us at our mission evenings. We meet twice a month on Thursdays, and our guest speaker for this month is Chappie John from the PBC High School. He'll be telling us what's going on there. We're meeting at 6 p.m. for a potluck dinner at the Lyles House, 99 Cobakai Road, Cobakai. We'd love to have you join us. Have a great week.